hello everyone welcome to DevSecOps tutorial so today we'll be shifting one more step towards left uh, that is we'll uh, go into the developer IDE space where we'll be integrating uh, some plugins which will help us to improve our coding practices and also help to know if uh, whatever the code we are writing or the library jar uh, or any other part of the code which is vulnerable vulnerable and we can right away fix it in the IDE part so as we know that uh, security is not only a concern for the pen test security devops or any other team but uh, it is also a, a concern for the developer because the development uh, from because the project starts in the development phase and the developer starts uh, from the beginning so if he can remediate the issues from the beginning or be a little bit cautious or have the uh, knowledge to code it in a secure manner or little bit uh, be uh, little bit being careful on the coding practices and uh, all it can be uh, minimized to a very large extent so let's get started with our uh, tutorial so the prerequisites for this is like uh, we need an IDE so we'll be using IntelliJ in our case you can also use Eclipse or any other tool of your choice then we need a laptop with uh, Mac, Windows or uh, Linux or any other uh, OS. We need a GitHub account or any other account uh, if you are using any other repository like Bitbucket and all for downloading the code. Git client is needed for downloading the code and interaction um, with the code. And sync plugin uh, is, uh, it should be installed in the IDE. So sync is an open source, uh, uh, open source uh, plugin which is available uh, which, uh, which is available and it helps us to uh, know the existing vulnerabilities in the in the source code or the dependencies uh, and uh, various issues with the code so for this we also need a sync account registered uh, then the last uh, one is like JDK 1.8 plus which is for my IDE this is the minimum JDK required now uh, sync analysis now, Sync uh, has re released in the IntelliJ plugin which is compatible with Maven and Gradle uh, which helps us to find and fix the vulnerabilities or dependencies in the source code right into the uh, IDE before committing it into the repository like Git or SVN etc. It also provides clear guidance on how we can fix the issues before you commit it to the source code. So this is basically shifting left and maybe you can say extreme left because this is where the project starts or this is where from the vulnerable can uh, vulnerable t part can be introduced into the uh, source code so this is the like plugin where we'll be going and installing this plugin so the plugin name is sync vulnerability scanning and then it will generate an analysis of our project so sync is allow like as of now it is uh, allowing maven and gradle projects in future it will uh, enhance more and uh, provide many other projects uh, to be integrated so let's move on with our hands-on so i have my intellij id here and i will uh, get the source code vulnerable source code from the uh, repository so this is our my github repository or github uh, repository where i got the source code uh, which is vulnerable so you need to just uh, feed the uh, feed the git url you can search for any vulnerable github url uh, so that you can uh, get the actual vulnerable uh, source code and you can know uh, like what are the vulnerabilities present in those things for your trial so now let's go ahead and clone it So the the clone uh, the cloning is done and this is like the read readme file where it tells like what is the vulnerability in the uh, in the GitHub repository which is purposely they have made some vulner uh, this repository as vulnerable for us to test. So let's go to IntelliJ IDE preferences plugins and here we'll be searching in the marketplace. So marketplace is the area where we can find all the plugins whichever we require so i'll be installing snyk yeah so this is the one which is i have already installed but you can just uh, click on this and it will be installed for you 
So this is supporting the package managers Maven and Gradle. So if you want any other uh, security plugin, so you can search from here. Like uh, most of the corporate uh, or, uh, or or the big MNCs, they buy a lot of uh, security products. Like we can find NetSparker, NetSparker Veracode, I think. Vera yeah, so Veracode uh, Greenlight it can be integrated with your IDE, but this requires the uh, registration uh, into their website and and it will ask for further details for the license so this you can get from your security team or any other team from your uh, company so the, this is like uh, a license product so uh, I'm not able to use it but if you have uh, the license uh, or if, you, if your company has you can use this plugin and it is a very reliable uh, plugin for security analysis similarly we can search for other security tools of our choice so if you are uh, develop, uh, developing using python you can use python security uh, which is again an open source uh, plugin available then you can use rips uh, then fortify is the other one which is used by most of the companies for static analysis of source code so this also requires uh, the license and other things so if you have the license you can go ahead and use these uh, trusted ones fortify and veracode are the most trusted ones and giving less false positives so we have already installed our ones uh, sync one so similarly if you want any other uh, one you can just install like we have vera code here or if you know white source advice here so you can use these things of your of your choice if your company has already purchased that like sync one and all so let's uh, close it as i have already done it install the sync part so now we can sing uh, see the sync icon here at the right corner just click on it so we can see like uh, if we don't uh, have anything here that means your project is safe now all the vulnerabilities are removed from the code using this uh, plugin sync so that's how that's how you can uh, follow the best practices and come to know like what all things are uh, vulnerable in your source code after scanning using sync or any other plugin of your choice and then you can follow the uh, link or whatever they mention like how to remediate you if you just follow the process it will help you to code in a secure way and also enhance your coding uh, practices uh, and uh, you can follow the best practices uh, with these uh, suggestions and once this is done your code is secure enough and you can easily check into the source code now in in the next section we'll be discussing about the sonar lint so which is an open source uh, plugin again available uh, which can be used to analyze your source code at runtime and before checking in you can get all the analysis and you can similarly you can remediate all the issues so thanks thanks for watching the tutorial